on loan. I'm going to show you how to animate um, specifically uh, images, uh, image blocks by zooming in. So Squarespace does not allow that and it's a bit annoying. It lets you animate subtly uh, without code, but when an image is clickable, it's nice that it can animate a little bit more so it's obvious that it's clickable and it's, um, it sends you to a link. So um, this is going to be using code. If you haven't um, watched the video before, finding the Squarespace ID uh, finder and downloading it on the Google Chrome up here, please watch that before, because you need that. Um, and then I will show you how to do it. Now, I know I've already mentioned this, I'm no coding wizard. I'm a beginner at this, but a beginner's mind teaches well to a beginner's mind. So I'm gonna make it really simple. Um, and it might not be the best uh, way to do it, but this is how I've done it um, and it might help you. So I thought I'd make a video. So basically, um, there's a lot of images on this website that are um, uh, clickable. They're, they're all animated as well. Um, but basically, I've done some code that makes all of them clickable. And now I, and then I've got some other co uh, code snippet that un uh, it basically undoes that code for that image, so it doesn't zoom in. So the ones that are zoomed in, for instance, I will show you. So here we go, you see these zoom in, and then also these are really important, and they zoom in, so it's really obvious that they're clickable, and the little um, sort of arrow goes on them. So I'm going to show you how to make all of this clickable, and I'm gonna show you how to unclick a block and unclick a whole section. So firstly, you had to download the um, Squarespace ID finder. So then you want to click it. I don't know why it's not clicking. Let's go into edit mode and see if it works. So go into edit and then uh, press the Squarespace ID. Hmm. Not working. Okay, so you go up here and you press Squarespace ID Finder and then you get all these codes around and each, each element has its own code and each section has its own code. So the section is sandwiched between these two blue lines. So any code will apply to that whole section, which is really handy and there's two different codes for that. And if you just want to do one image, then it's just the block. So firstly, I'm going to show you how to get into your coding and it's CSS and design. So you go to your um, pages here and go into design. I'm going to custom CSS. And then we've got a load of um, a code here. So I'm learning slowly how to do this, but there is, um, it's best to put little notes for yourself so that you know what's what. So this code here from this point to this point is the code that makes all image blocks zoom in when you click them. So I'm gonna make a note to myself. So to make a note to yourself, you have to move this. You have to um, do this little thing. So, so you have to do a slash and then a star star slash, and in between the stars, you put in whatever uh, message you want to put in to the code, and that won't ruin the code, hopefully. Um, for now, I'm not going to do that, but that is a nice. Um, I'll do another video for that. Let's stop here. Okay. So I'm not going to show you how to do that now, but basically I'll put in the code in the notes so that you can do it. So from here to here, you put in the code and it, it codes all the image blocks that are zooming. Then there's some bits in here that I don't want to zoom in on. So let's do um, this one. So for now, it does zoom in. So I'm gonna get, I'm going to get the code for the block. Let's put that to here. And I wish my face could go there. Great, it is. Right, so that's the code for the hovering the whole image. Then we have code for undoing the zoom in animation just for blocks. So we want to copy all that. 
I'm going to go right down, down, and then space, get a new line, and paste it in. Now we can see that we started on 70 and ended on 73, and we want to get the ID block and put it in here into that dot. So we go up here into the extension, get space, a uh, square space ID finder. We want this block, press it, copy, and then we just literally copy that line, paste it in there, save it and see if it's worked. Now it doesn't zoom in. So that's worked. Great. Does not always work. Now I'm going to go to the next line, 73, and I'm going to do that for a section. So I'm going to go down to these. So at the moment they zoom in, but we don't want these to be clickable. We just want them to be static. So there's we could do the same thing as we did above here for all of these, but there's just like so much code and we want less code for there to be less chances of bugs and, and then slowing down your website. So let's use the section ID. So we're going to use a different code for that. And again, I'll put it below. So we want to use the section ID code. So copy that. And every um, space counts. So make sure that you're starting fresh and paste it this is where it started section uh, da, 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 up to here so we so this is where it ends see with this bracket so that's where we're going to copy it so it's copied when we get the bracket make sure that the this there's a little space here make sure that space stays it's really important so do it with precision paste, save, and now it does not zoom in. So that is some basic coding that, um, again, I'm no expert at it, but you can try that um, if, you're, if you're feeling brave. But once you start going down the code um, route, there's always a few things that go wrong. Um, and I find a really good place to get support is Squarespace community on Facebook. Um, and there's lots of community support, so you can always do that. I hope you enjoyed. Please do watch the uh, Finding Your um, Squarespace ID Finder before if you haven't. Um, and if you like this, please like and subscribe, and I will keep doing these videos.